Welcome, Kevin, the light skinned daddy, Ross. Kevin, how are you doing, sir? Doing great, Raf. Thank you for having me here. It's my first time here at Tarantula Hill. It's actually very nice, so uh, I probably will be coming back 100%. Yeah, that's the hard part about doing the interviews is I, I forget at a certain point, like, oh, right, I have to do an interview. I just want to drink here now. We're going to start with this. This is the Tank Tops. It is a Tan Lines 5.5 ABV. And uh, it is from, is that Kashmir, Kashmir? Idaho? Yeah. Yeah, I thought Kashmir was in India, but. Yeah, okay, I don't know about that. Uh, but cheers to you, sir. Cheers, yes, absolutely. So let's start with this. I know that you have been in the background for years helping a lot of the guys in our crew get ready for fights. So my question to you is, why fight? Like, where did that begin for you? Um, yeah, I mean, I started doing jiu-jitsu in 2013, so I'm a competitive person, competitive in nature. Played basketball all my life growing up. Um, I think this was just the next thing that I kind of latched onto. And uh, yeah, man, I, I, I'm a just extremely competitive person. You ask anybody and any of my friends, they know. It's just any, I may turn anything into a game, a competition. I like winning, so um, it, it kind of progressed from there, from jiu-jitsu to, uh, to kickboxing. Muay Thai, all that stuff, and and here we are now. You know, seeing my friends get in a cage or in a ring or anything like that, it just really amps up those feelings, that emotion. It's like, oh no, I need to do this. I need to do this. But, but you know, before all is said and done, before I get too old, that tend, tends to be a thing. I need to do this, otherwise I'll regret it. So, okay, but did you grow up thinking that you were going to fight? Was that something that ever crossed your mind when you were younger? No, I mean, obviously now in today's you know era, you know, fighting is such a bigger thing. But early on, I, I mean, like I said, I played basketball all my life growing up. So I just found a new hobby, and it was jujitsu, and it kind of, you know, blossomed into this striking and, and fighting type thing. So um, that's where I'm at now. And you know, I didn't think about it early on. I, you know, I wrestled when I was like in eighth grade or something like that. That doesn't count. But yeah, it was no, no striking combat experience early on. But um, yeah, here we are. I mean, but you took to it pretty well, like just the way that you you handle yourself in the gym. And when I mentioned that you were a resource for a number of people, you really have been in fight camps with so many of our friends, our mutual close circle of, of folks. So it's not like it's just been one or two years. We're talking multiple years. So what were the holdups then? If you were looking to fight, like what was holding you back from fighting at that time? I think a lot of it was um, just a, a commitment, just committing to this thing. Obviously, fighting, you can't half-ass it. You can't be one foot in, one foot out. Of the you know, that's how people get hurt. But I think it was just commitment to it. And then I found the time to be like, okay, if I'm going to do this, let's, you know, dive in the pool, you know, both feet. You know, let's let's just go. And, you know, helping friends. I love helping my friends out. I love being that training partner. Whatever they need, I'm there for them. Um, and then, you know, fighting in itself is a little bit of a selfish sport you have to be and I kind of took that I kind of took that road it's just like okay if I'm gonna do this I'm I need to think about me I, I need to try this I need to do this so um, sure I'll still help out my friends but you know when it comes time for me I'm focused on me so wouldn't have known any different you know I, I thought you maybe might have taken a break you might have come back because it, when I started hanging around these guys I knew of you but we didn't really know each other that well and and then it just became like, oh, yeah, no, he's been doing this for years. And I go, I, I don't know. I've not <laughs> seen this man. And then I saw your work and I go, oh, that makes sense. OK, yeah, no, I can see why he's, he's very helpful for them. It is hilarious, though, when you see somebody like Milton, who is not your size, being like, oh, yeah, he's a he's a huge help. And I go, how <laughs> Do you pick you up from school? Like, what is it that he's doing? That's a big help. To me. Uh, I think for Mil I think I think it's just like maybe like a different body type. Maybe you're going against the I mean, for especially for Milton, all of you guys, if you watch this, you know who Milton is. 
a main arch nemesis of mine. Yes, <laughs> they they should be familiar with. Yes, him. absolutely. Uh, he, is, I think, uh, in general, I always think it's like good good to go with people of different body types, not just somebody that is your size or whatever. It, obviously, you know, maybe it's a hundred pounds difference is is a huge thing, but it is a strength thing. Okay, now you really got to work on your technique, whatever what in whatever skill that you're doing. It has to be a technique thing. You can't just be stronger than the person. And that's something that I found myself doing, especially is you know being a bigger guy we like to just power up a muscle out of things now let me work on the technique of stuff so um I, yeah in, in any way i always like to help them no matter the body type I, I think everybody should train with everybody so of course and i i do appreciate like the bond that you guys have had like that has been something that i've seen that different gyms have and everyone is unique in their way but like milton's in particular has been like I wouldn't call him a fighter that's done. I think he's still active. It's just right now he's so hyper-focused on y'all. But then if you see him sparred, it's like, well, he hasn't lost much. Yeah, Milton, I think Milton took some time off. Um, I know he was super focused on, like, all of his, you know, opening up his new gym, you know, Mama Academy. Um, I think he was super focused on that. And you're starting to see it now, even, like, talking with him or training with him. He's kind of getting that itch to get back in there. And I can't wait for him to get back in there because, again, like I like helping my teammates and helping, you know, I, I, I say teammates. It's more like family, especially Milton. Um, we met at a gym previous to where he's at now, and I followed him just because – we vibe like that and um yeah i i can't wait to see him get back get back in there it's it's gonna it's gonna happen it's only a matter of time yeah it's for somebody like him you know when he starts teasing it i just send him like you know most people should talk you down but i'm always like yo you should be going i'm like oh yeah 100 percent, do it absolutely yeah, like, like dude why are you not fighting right this second uh, but i i love that about y'all's team i would ask this though because now it has become so ingrained in your lifestyle what has become the most addicting part of it most addicting hmm uh again as i've already said i i'm, I'm competitive so even 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 trading you know you don't like to like oh i won this thing but i just like to see and feel myself getting better and in anything you do whether it be fighting or playing basketball or whatever you want to see yourself and feel yourself getting better i think that's the most addicting part for me and then i do have a five-year-old son who's taken to this very well <laughs> he likes to beat me up um i think that's the next level of that addiction it's just like oh he's gonna like this and and it keeps keeps us coming back keeps him coming back and so that's yeah i think that's the most addicting part of it that's cool because my dad took up golf and he was like trying to make it a thing for me and i was like no but i'm like dad i'm six what am i supposed to do with this you know you know what's funny my son actually he tried golf too i have a friend that's a big golf fan and you know but like my son's exactly like me. He gets frustrated, especially when I was a kid. I just get pissed off when I couldn't do that. No, fuck this. I'm done. <laughs> well, I think my dad tried over complimenting me, which was a good way of being like, oh, son, look at that swing. That swing's so good. That natural baseball swing is just giving its way to a good swing in the golf course. And I go, that's not true. I know that's you not know, true. That's, I feel like those are two th opposite things. They're very opposite. <laughs> but the fact that I think in retrospect, he wanted to hold on to that time. So to me, it was like, ugh. All right, well, as long as I can drive the cart, and <laughs> when I would drive the cart, man, I would go off-road. Oh, I would please. make him so nervous. <laughs> and I just said, like, well, this is the cost of admission. This is what you want me to do. If you oh, want yeah. me here, I'm going to do some crazy shit. I think he should have went the, maybe the Tiger Woods route and just, like, talk shit to you the entire time. Maybe you would have been a, uh, one of the greatest golfers of yeah, all time. Yeah, I was about to say, the real thing that I lost <laughs> out on was my golf touch. My dad would have uh, basically King Richard me. Yeah, 100%. Uh, in there and been like, I'm going to inspire you by scaring the hell out. <laughs> you and i'm gonna win an oscar yeah, absolutely will smith. shout out to will smith yes shout out will smith indeed who some people say it's my doppel doppelganger i don't yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah. can I, you got see that a lot i don't see maybe when i was younger and like he was younger but i think it's just because we're both light skin <laughs> so i guess that leads us into the nickname and i asked you this in a, a preview thing that we do the light skin daddy 
I'm light skin. I'm the daddy. But then I said, I'm not going to put this in anything. But where does the nickname come from? I'm the light skin daddy. I'm the father of all the light skins. Not a, you know, I'm, I'm the first true creator. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm apocalypse.